is Faith Friday, everybody. And our next guest is a best-selling author, a podcast host, and a professor at Duke University on a mission to give people permission to feel human. I love everything about this. In her book, it's called Have a Beautiful, Terrible Day. <laughs> she explores ways we can share how we are really feeling and leave that toxic positivity at the door. Please welcome Dr. Kate Bowler. Kate, hey, good you to see guys, you. You guys, thanks for having me. I'm so glad to be here. We have to talk about the, title, the name of this book. <laughs> 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 yeah. Because it's like so great. How did you come upon this title? Well. I, last year I kind of got stuck in a loop of chronic pain and I just found sometimes with problems you just go around and around the same thing but you still find yourself saying no I'm great fine so instead of just saying everything is always lovely I'm just trying to figure out like how do we bring more honesty into the things that we can't change but in an era of social media where everybody yeah. tries to you know sort of portray that they're happy yeah. and you know mm -hmm. loving life yeah. it seems like that's a big challenge well I, I think we're <laughs> I want to be the person that's like oh there is like a ton to be afraid of and I think we feel even more anxious the more that we're scanning scrolling listening to the news we mm. we want to be people who are awake to the world and if we're not being awake frankly we're being delusional and we're not doing <laughs> our jobs as citizens as friends as parents as you know all the stuff so how do we stay awake enough that allows us to be a little afraid but not so overwhelmed that we can't then be tuned into all the other beautiful things that can happen. So I think it's really about setting the dials between hope, too much hope, you're delusional, and too little, and you're not really paying attention to the world as it is. Mm. So it's like a great example for other people because mm -hmm. we're all seeing that you know, on our social media feeds yeah. and you just think you have to be happy and yeah. not everyone is happy. It's hard to watch. Yeah. We're heading into the last uh, weeks of uh, the Easter season. Yeah. We always ask our Faith Friday guests for words of wisdom, so curious. Right. Do you have any words for, we need wisdom. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, and Easter is like, Easter is the time where we face down the darkness of the world. It's the moment where Jesus turns toward Jeros Jerusalem and knows he's gonna die. And Palm Sunday is the day where everybody comes out and they had their palm leaves and they waved them and they said, Hosanna. And I don't know if you ever tried saying like, Hosanna, which just means like, praise, like, thank you, but it's like unbelievably, Embarrassing. <laughs> there is something very vulnerable about hope. Mm -hmm. Is the second we say thank you or praise, we're like, because we can feel ourselves reach out for something. And I felt that when I was, I was dying of cancer, and my father-in-law uh, prayed very quietly, and he was like, God, if she makes it five years, I'm just gonna say thank you, but maybe like a little more publicly. And then, like, five years to the date of my diagnosis, my unbelievably shy belongs to a very polite church father-in-law had marked it on his calendar, and he marched to the front of his little church, and he had his own little Palm Sunday moment, and he turned toward the congregation, and this is not a man who even takes his hands out of his pockets, but he put his little hands up, and he goes, thank you that she lived, Hosanna. Oh. So in the moments where we find something that where we can say, man, thank you. Thank you for this lovely thing in the midst of it all. Just we can bear a little vulnerability and just say yeah. thank you. I think we're all grateful that you're still with us. Yes. And we have something special for you. Oh. This is your third time <laughs> it is. on GMA3. So you are in the repeat Hall of Fame, what? baby. <laughs> I like my, little, I like my drink level you. of chain here. Oh. I feel this has gone to a beautiful non-Canadian place for me, and I'm already getting used to it. Well, you yeah. should walk out here knowing that you are loved by so many yeah. people. And here this is a very here. special club, just so you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dr. Kate Bowler, we are so thankful oh, that you are here with us today. Really and you can pick up a copy of her book, Have a Beautiful, Terrible Day, <laughs> everywhere that books are sold. I get it now. At first I was like, say what? But I love it. <laughs> thank you, thank you.